Uh, it began uh, at a young age. I, my mom and dad, we always went to church. And on one particular Sunday there, they <clears throat> during the service, my uh, Sunday school teacher encouraged me to go forward and make a dedication there to the Lord. And uh, of course, as, as it went by there, that's the normal procedure for back in those days and invited you to come down to the front of the church. And so I did uh, the normal things. They asked you a few questions and prayed and this and that and the other. And, uh, and then shortly after that, there was a time of baptism. And uh, so I was baptized at a very young age, probably 10 years old or something. So that was the beginning of the story. I had a lot of adventures in between there. I uh, graduated from high school, went into the military, uh, retired after 30 years of service at work uh, with Duke Power. And uh, I guess during the years, I've always counted on me, myself, and I to take care of everything. Apparently, and uh, yeah, yeah, apparently it's, that's the truth. And uh, I depended on myself. And I became more aware of that. And then I really was under the impression there for many, many years that I had this question about whether I was really, re, re, uh, uh, really saved or not uh, back when I was youngster. And so I, I had drifted for many years and I was not walking with the Lord as I should and it concerned me and it had worried me for many many years there and I was just uh, hoping that maybe the occasion would arise that something would happen and uh, first of all when, we, when we, Betty and I first came back from out of state uh, that first Sunday we were home we talked about going to a church and uh, we knew some, some things about Gate City, not, not a lot, and uh, we decided just to, and we lived nearby, so we just came on down to Gate City. I believe it's in 2014, uh, Michael had, had come on board, and one of his services was just an eye-opener for me. Apparently the Lord chose for that day to be the day because the message that day was my message. I couldn't believe it when I heard it because it was almost as if it was addressed to me personally here. And I just for a moment there just froze in time and thought, what's going on here? And then after the message and the call for invitation was made, it was just like uh, I don't know what came over me, but I could not uh, make myself stay in the pew. And I came forward and uh, Michael and I talked about it and this and that and the other. And I just uh, kind of thought through the process there and uh, the time came and uh, I was able to uh, accept the Lord and uh, follow Him and put my trust and hope in Him. I uh, was so grateful for that message that day in that uh, it just made everything worthwhile. And uh, so shortly after that, I was baptized. A actually, it's, it's changed my whole life. I, uh, as I have been a born-again Christian now for just a few years, and I, I missed out on a whole lot. And I regret that, but um, I, I feel like that uh, my life has improved and that uh, I'm not near as upset, out of bounds, and those type things as I was before. And um, it's not only impacted me, but it's impacted 
Betty also, and it's solidified our marriage in that I, I get a really a good feeling about how things really are and that what counts is the most important. Glenn Norwood, and this is how I've been changed by the King.